Hey, I'm Brielle with Secret Solutions, and today I'm here with Bjorn uh, from Resolution Apps, and uh, it's great to have you here. For... Perfect. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be chatting today about the NASA app, so I would yeah. love to learn a little more. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, again, thanks for having us. Um, the NASA app has an interesting story. So we started one and a half years ago with a four-day week. So a lot of our customers and partners love to hear about this story. So working just four days instead of five. <laughs> and we analyzed all our work behaviors, our meetings and so on, and we realized our stand-ups are bullshit. <laughs> so they're, they're way, too, way too long, especially when I joined stand-up meetings. It was often a discussion between two people and I bored five people to death. And overall, we identified 23 problems in our stand-up meetings, proved them with a lot of customer interviews and solved them with another app. Very cool. Well, do you mind uh, telling me how the app works, a little bit about its features? So the app is split it in three phases. So um, one group of problems in meetings in general is that people joining unprepared. So mm -hmm. this makes all the stuff what they are sharing uninteresting and people then paying not attention to the stuff, doing Slack emails and so on. So it means the first phase of the app is to create a habit for, uh, um, for the users that they prepare meetings on a quick and easy way. And at the same time, they can maintain their Jira issues in parallel with that. Mm. The second phase of the app is a live meeting. So we want, uh, wanted to create an environment that a live meeting can work structured, that people stay on time, that introvert people have somehow also notes what they want to share with the team. Mm. Um, but also scrum masters or product owners have the possibility to follow up on items and so on. And phase number three is to documenting the whole meeting. I mean, nowadays we are all using the transcript stuff. Mm -hmm. Hands up who is really reading it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's a complete different question. So because of the preparation and because of our live meeting phase, mm -hmm. we have all the data to create a good brief journal of the meeting so that other people can access. Like the boss, which in general shouldn't be part of the stand-up, he can, for example, he or she can just check the journal, what was going on in team X, Y, Z. So that's the idea. Very cool. Is that kind of AI that uses? Uh, no, no, we, 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 no uh, we, we discussed it a lot. I mean, you can use AI for a lot of things here. But the interesting point is when a person has a behavior to write down, I want to achieve today these two issues and these two meetings, mm. then it creates somehow a commitment. So it, it's an emotional, uh, emotional commitment, emotional commitment. And this is much better as an AI tool who's saying to you, okay, you should work on this or that, mm. because then you somehow disconnected to the work. So we found out that the flow is much better with this daily habit, writing a journal, prepare your meeting, then you're already in the topic, it's much better as AI stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. But we have already <laughs> robo-agents on it. Um, so we also created two robo-agents, for example, for getting better summaries. So yes, there is some AI stuff, um, but that's really an early phase for the robo-agents uh, at the moment for apps. But it works already really good. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind uh, giving us a kind of a live example of how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So we're just starting with my normal daily uh, 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 journey. So um, my first stand-up is at 10 a.m. in the morning. So means I start with the preparation at 9, uh, 9.55. So the first thing what I'm doing is I copy the stuff from yesterday because yesterday I had the meeting already and I somehow uh, promised what I want to achieve. So what we are seeing here are my issues from yesterday and I can give now a little bit more context to it. Mm -hmm. And I can give temporary context just for the meeting or I can give uh, context as a proper Jira um, issue. So means oh. this preparation is also my three-minute Jira per day. And the rest of the day, I'm not going to Jira and work on my task and so on because I have it all here. So then I give a little bit more context, maybe something like, yes, I failed with that, it's still on to-do. Um, or maybe I started with that and I can also change then here the status on a quick way, etc. So classic live demo stuff. Uh, so I need to add some story points <laughs> for that. Okay, good. Um, so this is one idea that you simple pick items from your, from your list and you put it to the questions, give more context, etc. Hmm. In some cases, you have the situation that you have work to do which are not organized in Jira issues. So then you can use text items, you just add them here and they show up as a separate item. But you can also create immediately an issue out of this. 
Oh, so wow. when you realize, ah, oh, this should be more an issue instead of a text item, then you can immediately do it, it's automatically assigned to you, and so on. I'm normally using this for meetings, for example. What I'm doing is I give a headline meetings, and then I'm writing down, okay, I have a meeting with uh, Cyber Media um, about the NASA app. So, and this creates an interesting reaction later in the live meeting. Then people ask, oh, can you give me a summary of the meeting or can I join the meeting? So it's much mm. better as just saying, yeah, I had yesterday 10 meetings, I was so busy. So there is no interesting information in it. Mm -hmm. And we try to create a behavior that people share interesting things. So that's this preparation phase. So you're getting the idea. You run through the classic stand-up questions yesterday, then you prepare the stuff what you want to achieve today put some issues in, give again more context. You can also give um, emotions to do it a, a little bit more colorful. <laughs> so it's a little bit of uh, a uh, crying smiley, but whatever. Um, and that's a preparation. So without explaining, I normally need three minutes for it. Then the second phase starts, and the second phase is the live meeting phase. So from now on, the scrum master is the master of the meeting. Um, so it's a super boring meeting at the moment because it's just me. Uh, so, but normally you have all attendees here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then every attendee giving the verbal update to this visual information. So they run through it, blah, blah, blah. Yesterday I achieved X, Y, that. My plan today is blah, 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 and so on. Um, we, for example, allow questions in stand-ups so that an engineer, a dev, or a marketing person can ask a question to another person. But the rule is the answer needs to be super short. When this is not possible, the Scrum Master can easily click the follow-up item and we create a follow-up list. Because what happens normally in meetings? So in these quick stand-up meetings, people saying, yeah, okay, let's talk later about this. Then I say to the next person as well, to the next person as well. And immediately after two minutes, I forgot it. Yeah. Um, and then we discuss it tomorrow again. So bad meetings leading to more bad meetings. Um, so that's what we try to solve here. Um, in the live meeting, people can also work with the emotions and so on, but overall we create focus here. The attendees should focus on the update, and what we are doing is we are synchronizing the visuals with a verbal update. Mm -hmm. When you look how companies normally doing it, there's a standard meeting, a Jira board, a Scrum Master scrolling up and down, up and down in the Jira board, I call it the Jira roller coaster. <laughs> so an uh, engineer or developer tries to give the verbal update, it's not fitting to the visuals, and what then happens with your brain, it's totally confused. So, and then you may be getting 20% of the update. When visuals and verbals are synchronized, you're getting 70% of the update. Mm. So, makes perfect sense. Yeah, absolutely. The effect for us was amazing. We were super bad in sprint planning and so on, and most of the cases, 60% of our sprint was automatically in the next sprint because <laughs> we overplanned or whatever. Since we are using the app, we are much better here. So that's a live meeting. You're getting the idea. You're running from user to user. Um, and then the meeting is on some point finished. So when you close the meeting in the back end, we are creating now phase three, the team journal, the documentation of the meeting. Um, so we are storing the last 30 stand-up meetings of the stream. You can have tons of streams. So normally you do it per team or per topic. And then these team journals looking like this. But let me show you... Uh, production team journal, which is a little bit more interesting as demo stuff here. So that's the marketing, uh, my marketing stand-up, for example. And I can go here to, let's say I missed last week the stand-up meetings. I just go to the uh, 2nd of October. No, I was here. Huh. I gave an update. Mm. So, But now I can consume on a quick way the past stand-ups. And this solves a lot of other problems. It solves the problem, in general, a boss shouldn't join a stand-up. Why? a boss changes the behavior and the atmosphere in a stand-up meeting. So people then are not saying, oh, I failed in X, Y, that. Or they are not so keen for asking questions, uh, etc. So we're creating here a better atmosphere um, that people have fun on the stand-up meetings and also can consume the information efficiently. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for breaking down the three stages. Yeah. And uh, I really appreciate you being here today. We'll definitely uh, drop a link so people know where they can get like a full demo if they have any questions. Perfect. Awesome. Looking forward to it. So great to meet you. Thank you very much.